friend And that ain't right Who the motherfucker But she's so fine And that's all right Got it She's hotter than a hot damn We are here Yet again For another episode Of Nah Me, me nah, Podcast me, me, me. Good one. We got a lot This is a big room This is probably the biggest Group we done had Ever you know what I'm saying? What is it, like seven, 30 people in here? This is dope. This is awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't count. Don't count. count. Just listen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm your boy, Sleepy Poet. And these are my lovely friends. Let's, let's go around. Let's introduce yourselves real quick. What's up? This your boy, Uncle Les. You can find me on social media at Uncle Les 212 on all platforms. I like the hands over there. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Producer, saxophone, motivation, love and happiness, all that good stuff. So my name's Trevor. You can call me Trev or Captain Dreadlocks. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Captain Dreadlocks. Uh, what is it? Guitar, fitness, you know, that's me. Stretch it out. Stretch it out, yeah. Hi, I'm Coco. Um, yeah, I don't really play anything. I mean, I can sing a little bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> It's me. It's my first time. I gotta make Your it favorite up. person ever, you know what I'm saying? KR King Rack Time 212 on all social media platforms. And I'm here for you. Artists rapping, producing, mixing, engineering, fitness, trombone, trap, bone play, you feel me? Hey, hey, you, hey, hey you already know what's up. My name is Vocal. I'm an RB singer songwriter, uh, aka Zaddy. <laughs> you can follow me on um, Instagram at VOKL22. There it is. Yeah. Last but not least. <clears throat> Thank you. Shama, y'all. AKA Rashama. AKA Hollywood. Hey. You know, hey. you know hey. what they call me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on the west side. Oh, she went away. Oh, I guess she gave it away. My bad, my bad. You're right, you're right. Coast to coast. Um, I ain't going to shout out my Instagram name because you know that ain't for everybody. Oh, oh, nice oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Find me, nigga. <laughs> 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 we, got, we got all that out the way. Uh, we are here. If you don't know, now you know. This is the Black Adulting Podcast. We are all young black adults. And I'm pretty sure when we were all young, we thought this shit was going to be a lot easier than it is. And a lot more fun. And a lot more fun. This is some bullshit. So, <laughs> what we do here is discuss the things and the struggles and all the things we've been through to get to where we are and how we can move forward. How we get better. You know what I'm saying? So today, it's kind of funny that she was like my Instagram for everybody. Because sometimes, you're, 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 you're talking to somebody. And you like them. They're romantic. And they're cool. And you're like, you know what? I might want to sleep with this person. Or you know what? I might want to continue this relationship in any kind of way, shape, or form. Emotionally, financially, I I know some of y'all be about that. And they tell you no. You don't take no for an answer. These are the ways you turn a no into a yes. Oh, we're supposed to know the no's? Or is it? Oh, but just believe me. I've been told no a lot. So I have a lot of ways to turn no into a yes. Not in no, you know, not no force. Not <laughs> no force. No, you're not talking about force here. I think it's fair to say that we're all some good looking people. Ain't nobody here ugly. I'm medium, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Medium. You know what I'm saying? Chill! <laughs> <Ew. laughs> <laughs> medium. No, 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 we're all good looking people. We all have talents. We're all good catches. But there's some dumb people out there who will look at us and be like, no, nah, I ain't really. I didn't really try to go no step further than that. And we've all been hit with that before. And we've all still been like, you know what? Yes, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. You told someone no, and they did. Damn, why am I here right now? And dealing with this person. You know what I'm saying? So this, this is just ways to get past that. You, you said you had a, a story? Uh, I have a question. Okay. Um, the first question of what height you just know into a yes. Mm-hmm. Um, we were talking earlier in this podcast, and uh, my boy Vocal was, I'm not going down the same route. <laughs> <laughs> my boy Vocal was explaining, you know, you don't always want to cuddle with somebody. So you got, you know, had a quick escape move, had your homeboy call you and you get up out of there. Quick escape move. Now, it's a little bit of But I got to ask a question. Uh, our, home, our friend over here, uh, Hollywood, was like, you ain't going to cuddle with me, nigga? Oh, you lost it. So I have a question. Have you made someone reconsider cuddling? <laughs> like how I'm about to go bring it? that ass I, back here. I'm <laughs> going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's... Okay, so... Sip 
authentic. I want a, I want a moment. Paint a scene. Say the name. Say the name. No. Don't say the name. No, no, no. Okay. Don't, okay. don't say the name. Know. His name is Roger. We're going to call him Roger. Can you be like a Darnell or something? Darnell, you are Darnell. 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 With me, and I always just thought it was because maybe he was just a little hot. You know, we both sweating, we both put in a lot of a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Um, so you just kind of nudge your way on over there, turn the fan on, you be all right, you be straight. Mm -hmm. I don't care if your arm hurt, I'm tired too. Let's sweat this thing out, you know. Mm -hmm. So you do a physical sweating right? builds character. So you so you literally just move motion. I put myself in a position I need to be in. So the position. After the several positions you were just in, mm -hmm. is to like I'm guessing you turn Smug yourself. You turn, oh, so wait, <laughs> wait a minute. So I was assuming that you did some little coy and you like kind of backed on in like a little spoon. Why do you have to play? Like why do you have to be coy? So you just go ahead and go come here. Uh, you like what you like for? The way you said that. Oh, God. I would say here's what I would say. I would say because so many people have like that's um have used like finesse uh, other finessing ways and stuff mm -hmm. i think being straightforward now is also oh, it's, it's also becoming finesse. Finesse. we might not think like we calculated the moment <laughs> but we we all calculate our rejections we all calculate whether or not we're gonna get a yes and when you finally say like i'm just gonna do it that's in a way you finessing because you know you don't get some type of answer no matter what yeah. right and to piggyback off of that when i was thinking about that i was in it took like four years really to get a grip on that concept you just said. Four years. It took four. I was slow. <laughs> Listen, I was slow to that one. Super slow. Like, like about to graduate and was finally like, damn, I'm not the only person that's thinking about that. So when I talk to her, she's going through all those same thoughts at the same moment. And then I found out very strongly of accepting that fact that the resting thought is what's different. And this is where I feel like black adult knowledge. For all you young people out there, you about to get something. Mm -hmm. Young men that are single, we walk around with this thought right here. Whether you're horny or not. What happens, happens, my nigga. But I hope it's in my favor. With women, with women, I promise <laughs> this. Please touch the women. <laughs> Hey, first wait, before you go, I just wanna say I vote for do not approve or whatever that's the best thing you to say, okay? This is all about the mindset. This is all our mindset has to be. Is don't think about this one right here. She won't come to it. That's it. I hope no nigga sweeps me off my feet today and makes me happy. And that's all you have to know is man. She did not wake well, yeah, up this she morning. Did like she that? did not wake up this morning and say, I hope uh, no nigga makes me happy today. Wait, I'm not. Wait, 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 That's all she doesn't wake up in the morning. She doesn't wake up in the morning saying, saying, I hope no nigga makes me happy today. He's saying no woman says that. That's the resting <laughs> thought. Is they y'all don't wake up going like I hope every day is a butt today. That's a very broad statement because it is. sometimes statement. Sometimes, sometimes is. we'll we'll wake up and we'll go out, we'll get out of the house and we'll say I really hope nobody about the room today. Exactly. 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 Fuck them, exactly. please exactly. don't don't holler at me. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Don't ask me about my day. Leave me a fuck alone. I just don't want to be on that. That's cool. Leave me alone. You know that that's cool. sometimes that's a thought process, and I feel like that kind of goes under that category. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily that we don't want to be swept off of our feet. Who? Everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants that. Question for you, that young black man here. Did you wake up every day and say, I want to be loved? Or did you wake up some days and go like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about being loved. I want some pussy today. I'm trying to get some pussy. When I was like 16, I was definitely on that tip. I don't believe women ever go through that thought alone. <laughs> it's the thought of being loved or being stuck on their feet is always an option. Niggas will cut that one off. You will be getting loved and be like, I don't care about this love thing. When are these draws coming off? Talking about, there are times where we are thinking that, correct? You're there not are times. That's not the resting thought. What do you think our resting thought is? 
the resting thought, to be honest, once it's again, so well, direct. Once again, I <laughs> like, Go ahead. The resting thought is, I'm okay with somebody making me happy. Bullshit. Hold up. Is that, is that bullshit? Is that yours? No. No. Bullshit. What is your resting thought? Tell me Tell me what yours is. I don't want to. I, 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 I think they all different. I, oh, I, see, that's I, I don't want you to speak for I think it's a lot. I think... Um, Ooh, y'all, y'all make us so much more complicated than what it is. Here's what it is. Here's Let's what it is. Here's what it is. I don't wake up. I'm not waking up with no man on my mind. But Jesus, that's Jesus, Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ. Um, no, but um, really, that's for real though. Um, really, it's just as simple. <laughs> it's really more similar to what you think the male's resting thought is. Whatever the fuck happens, happens. I hope it goes my way. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure it goes that way. I guess that's the difference. Mills, you know, we try, I guess, a bit harder, I think, mm. personal opinion, to mm. make sure that it goes our way. Mm. However, if it doesn't, because she's on point, keep going back. From what we just heard, just to make sure everybody's on the same page here, mm-hmm. we hear, I just, I hope someone makes me happy. And she retorts, you know, it's pretty much the same thing with the nigga thing. Uh, whatever happens, happens. I just hope it goes my way. I'm going to make sure it goes my way. I believe my star has been distorted now. I did not say I hope it goes my way. Women, we're catching up with the mindset of men. We're catching up with oh. y'all. Oh. We're catching up with y'all. Oh. 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 I'm about to say, I disagree with that. I feel like men are catching up with the mindset of women. That's why men are freaking pussies out here. <laughs> They're acting like a bunch of women. Yeah, right? we know how to play the game. We're learning the rules. It might have took us a yeah. little minute. Took us a minute. Had to fail let's, a couple of times. Had a couple of times. Got stuck a few times. But once we learn the rules, baby. Do you think that's the whole catching up to men thought? I, I don't believe y'all had anything to catch up to. We're very aware it is. That's why y'all took it so hard. We got thumped in the ass. Y'all had nothing to catch up to. We're very aware. It is. That's why y'all took it so hard. We got fucked up by it. I should have seen this shit coming. This nigga did this, this, and that. God damn it. I know better. Oh, no, no, no. Like, no, you were never confused. There was no catching up here. Y'all just understand. I kind of lean more towards him, where more niggas out here are just like. Uh, they're just giving a, They're giving you the answer to the test. Like, here. We're not even. I'm not even smart. Here. But she's so fine. And that's all right. Got it.